everybody, this is Bernie from Taranga Wellness Clinic Stamp and Eat. And on this gorgeous, sunny, sort of, not can't make up its mind, autumn morning, we are going to do another card from the Succulent series. Um, that is part of my little Stamp and Eat mini retreats that I run on a second and fourth Tuesday of every month. So this video always gets released. The Friday before that class so if you are interested in joining please feel free to click on the link that is on my website for the class that is here in Tauranga in New Zealand but I actually this morning um, I also wanted to show you something completely unrelated but I just wanted to show you how trendy um, stamping up is with the colors I was looking through our um, I love catalogs I love catalogs of all kinds I love clothing catalogs, stamping catalogs, I just love looking through catalogs. I don't keep ma uh, magazine subscriptions anymore, um, but I used to love magazines once upon a time too. But I was looking through the latest that popped in my mailbox, the latest um, Easy Buy catalog that's available here in um, Taronga, in Taro, New Zealand. And have a look at these colours green green and you know what it matches perfectly to our um, evergreen that we're going to be talking about today that I'm going to be using uh, and here's another one green and that one looks like our just jades and then in the catalog they're also talking about um, having a nod to here we go no it's not that page I should have tagged it um, they were talking about having a bit of a nod to um, the 70s with the 70s. Here it is with the 70s colors. Now, in a few months' time, I'm going to feature the beauty of um, Earth Sweet, which is all the beautiful, beautiful colors. I actually scrapbooked some pages using those colors, and it's all these autumny retro colors. So Stamping up is on trend. I also went through Kmart last week looking for some stuff for our Busy Women's Ladies Retreat. And right in the front, when I walked in, the first thing that they always put up to draw um, your attention as a customer was their wildlife print. And it was, I kid you not, it was almost identical to the wild print, the animal print that we've got as papers and as sweets in our annual catalog. So we are really, really on trend when it comes to what's happening out there, not only in the paper world, but in the world because animal prints are on trend for clothing this year, like I've already shown you the dark greens, which we're going to be looking at today in my card. So that's just as a side, I just wanted to just drop that in there as a um, FYI. So without further ado, let me get to my stamping desk and um, we can start. Right. I'm back. Um, oh, let me just get this camera sorted. It's always tricky because I come from the one position to the other and then I've got to get my camera sorted and make sure that it's working. Um, and as you know, if you know me well enough or are starting to follow me, um, I don't like technology. So the fact that I'm doing this is amazing. So today's beautiful card is one that I've designed myself. And this is featuring the Simply Succulents stamp set as well as the Potted Succulents die set. Now, for those of you that were watching a couple of weeks ago when we did our first card, I mentioned that you're no longer going to be able to get the dies after June. I was wrong. You will be able to get the dies. You will no longer be able to get them as a bundle. So if you want to save 10% and get the, the Simply Succulent stamp and the die and save yourself 10%, that um, idea of having the bundle that will no longer be available after <clears throat> June, but you definitely can get the dies separately in the new catalogue. So today I'm going to feature this um, soft succulent um, cardstock. We're also going to be working with the, let me show you these in stamp pads, I really am loving this. So that's the soft succulent 
also going to be featuring that evening evergreen, which is that green that I showed you um, in the um, clothing catalog. We're also going to be working with a little bit of so saffron and crumb cake. Um, so this card involves some embossing, if you've got an embossing folder, um, and we're going to be using some blender pens. Now, you've got a choice when you do this. I'm going to be using the blender pen, this blender pen with my ink pads, but you can use blender pens, and I just want to get mine out. You can actually use your blender pens. I find, I find that I seem to color better using this pen with a stamp pad. Um, I'm still working on my techniques, but I wanted to show you, I did um, some practicing. I'm not the greatest at coloring in these things. I had a bit of a play, and these are all done with blender pens. And this um, technique is what I am used, and I've cut it, fussy cut it out for our little bits and pieces. All right. So I've already done those, and that was simply just putting dark under where the leaves would cause a shadow. Um, here I didn't do it as well, but yeah, well let's get cracking. So I will put all the dimension, um, yeah, all the directions and the recipe card on my website. So that's under tarongawellnessclinic.co.nz. Stamp and eat. Click on Bernie's craft room, and there will be the project there. Let's get cracking. I've already pre-cut my paper. I've decided for today's project to change the landscape. So instead of it being a landscape one, I'm going to make it, um, we're going to go this way around and I'm going to make it um, still landscape but opening in the front. So you will need some black cardstock, which I again will put the dimensions up. I've already pre-cut mine. It really looks beautiful when you've got a black border um, around your picture it just seems to pop the image and an eighth of an inch will be the a nice size just to create that little bit of definition I'm going to run this through the 3d the 3d brick and mortar um, embossing folder and then I'm going to brush it with some crumb cake <coughs> excuse me I'm a bit chesty this morning so I will run that through my um, embossing machine and I will be back shortly so as you can see I've run that through and it gives it a beautiful beautiful um, 3d so I'm just going to take my crumb cake and very lightly just whoops that's a bit darker that one so I've obviously done it differently there just drag it over time we do it it looks different so there we go so we can actually I can glue that on again and um, just glue that onto the black and then I know that's done so it's been two weeks what's everybody been doing in the past two weeks I'm trying to think ah um, this past Monday I had um, co-hosted with the beautiful Jackie from Thrive Business Consulting our first um, ladies, busy women's ladies retreat. So that was cool. Um, we had some ladies attend that. We had heaps of fun. Now I'm just going to take out of a bit of scrap out of the evening evergreen. I've scored, you probably can't really see. Can you see that? I've scored a little line halfway and I'm going to create the banner. So I'm just going to go up there to the middle. The other way of doing it is to, if you've got a um, triangle punch, you can do that. But this is a lot easier. Anyway, so yeah, ladies retreat. We had an amazing time. Um, we learnt heaps from Jackie about goal setting. I worked on with the ladies on menu planning. Why we, why I do it. Why I've been doing it still after 20 odd years. There we go. Heaps of fun. Now, in that first banner, I did not 
blend it, but I'm going to change that today. I want to blend it and see how that creates a bit of definition. Um, so you just use a blending brush. If you don't have a blending brush, you can use a dauber. I just want to just go tone on tone and just bring in because it's dark you may need to do it quite a bit now we are running a um, whole weekend retreat from the 19th of November to the 21st I really encourage you if you're close by or even if you live in New Zealand and you'd like to spend a weekend it is a stunning venue um, and Jackie and I are running a whole wellness weekend in November. I need to move this blender brush. I always get myself dirty with them. So I've just cleaned my fingers. I'm going to do the twine. See how there's some twine on that one? I'm going to do the twine and then, um, yeah, we can make some progress on that. So I'm going to use some double edge tape on there, double sided tape. What else did we get up to this week? Um, it's been a very interesting week in New Zealand. Um, nurses are striking, threatening, not threatening, have said they're going to strike. Um, yeah, lots of interesting things happening. Lots of interesting things happening. We helped our children. We've got twin sons. And, whoops, yeah, I just almost stuck that down there. Helped our twin one of our boys move, him and his wife, they shifted last Saturday into their new home. So I had a fur grandchild that I looked after for them. That was interesting, having a little kitty cat back in the house after our pussy cat died in February. Um, she woke me up at 3 o'clock in the morning, which made me realise I actually did not miss that. <laughs> Oh my gosh yep right so I'm going to adhere that down I'm just trying to I did too you know what happens I make these samples sometimes weeks even sometimes months ahead of when I film these for my craft class and then I forget what did I do there did I stick dimensionals on there didn't I stick dimensionals on there So, yep, yeah. you see me looking and wondering why am I looking at my own project. Well, that's why, because I can't remember what I own, what I did on my own thing. Funny, eh? Okay, so we're going to do the boat. Going to do the bow. Let's do this. Always do it the wrong way around. I like to have the tail the other way, so that I've got my... Otherwise, what else is news? Um, not much, to be honest. Yeah, not much. Like I say, it's just interesting looking at how you know, things trend and are popular. Love how our stamping up. You know that they are on trend. It really is cool. That feels like it's a bit skew, just a tad. Do I move it? Don't I move it? Mm -hmm. Just feels slightly skew. Okay, stop faffing. Oh, I need to tell you, seeing as the faffing, faffing is a big thing in my world. I am um, going to set this aside for now. My orchid that I ended up breaking the other day because I was faffing so much, it's got a new leaf. So I'm very excited by that. It's obviously decided to show me it can regenerate itself. So what am I going to do now? I am going to stamp in the cinnamon cider, the pot, and then I'm going to color it in. I'm going to do the succulent in memento black and color that in. I'll show you a little bit of how I do that. And then, um, yeah. We'll get cracking, shall we? So, love the pot. Oh my gosh, every time I hear the pot, the word pot, 
<sighs> I always think of Wackhead Simpson. Now he's a South African comedian. And he is so funny. I need to get my mat. So because of these photopolymer stamps, it's always better to do it on a um, to rest it on a mat because they're quite thin. I am also using shimmer paper. You may not be able to see it because it doesn't um, it holds the blending better. Right, pot done, and we're going to use that shortly. Don't put that away yet, Bernie. And what am I looking for now? Ah, oh, the succulent, the succulent, the succulent. Okay, I like to just ink it when I use Memento. I actually prefer to ink it upside down. I don't know why, I just do. And so we'll go there. Let's move that to the side. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I start and then I will carry on, finish the project and then come back. So using my blender pen, I just stuck my finger in the ink pad. Oh, mate. Right. What I do is I just put my pen in there. I get color. And it's literally, I just wipe off a, sun, a little bit and then I literally just, just um, color it. Leaving some white space. White space is always good. And if you need to come in, re-ink. I like to just wipe off a little bit. And honestly, there is no... I'm not doing anything fancy. I am not an artist by any means. Um, but what I am do is I just... Yeah, I just go. And look there. You can see... How it beautifully blends. Now you can absolutely do this with blender pens. Like I say, I don't know what it is about me. I seem to um, I seem to manage this pen better. I don't know. I can't explain that to you in the slightest. But yeah, I just seem to work better. I seem to like the feel of it. So I want some dark there. Just picture how the pot would look in the sun with the light coming in so with for me this one's creating a shadow from the left hand side you can see I've got darker bits there so that's how I have painted that one um, and do make sure you leave some white space it does like to have white space I'm going to do the same with the um, succulent what I'm going to do is where it would make a shadow I'm going to put some dark in there and then um, I'm going to color in with light. So I'll come back um, once I'm finished there. So let's have a look. So I've colored in the dark bits with the evening <laughs> evening primrose. Try that again. What is this thing called? Evening evergreen. Why don't I say evening primrose? I've done some soft succulent in there. I've also thrown a bit of highland heather on the tips. I've just squiggled with the Highland Heather blender brush. I've also toned it down a little bit with the color lifter. Um, mm, I'm not sure that I, oops, I'm not sure that I'm entirely happy with it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in a little bit of yellow. I saw this on another demonstrator the other day and it actually really made a difference. This one's going to look completely different to my first one. And that just shows you. So I'm just going to leave this and see what I think. Just let it blend. And while it's settling, I am going to die cut those out. I'm also going to 
I'll bring that back into the picture. I'm going to stamp my sentiment while that's settling. Um, but while that's drying, because it will take a minute or two, I wanted to show you this clever idea that I cased off. Who was it? Patty Bennett's website. She she puts her blending, if you've got blender pens, she puts them on a piece of paper that shows her what she's, um, yeah, how they progress in light and dark. Because they don't always look as at the same when you're looking at the cap. And that's been brilliant for me to work with this week. So that's a clever idea. I'll keep this with um, my projects that I do. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with that with you. Very clever idea. It's always good to learn from other people, especially um, if you're still reasonably new at stamping. So let me, I'm going to use the die now to cut this. I'm going to use the, the pot. And I'm going to use the succulent. This one, I've got to find the flat edge. I think that's the right one. Run that through the dye machine and we can then assemble it. Oh, so I've got the pot. It's like, what have I done with my card? I always do this. There's the pot. See, this one's a little bit lighter than that one. And that is okay. I'm going to put that one on top. And then we're going to bring in these little bits. I'm going to tuck that one in there. Quite like that one behind. And this one, I tuck in like that. Completely different look, this one. Interesting, eh? Same dies, different look. So I'm going to pop these up with dimensionals. Let's do that. So the pot. So, dimensionals, move those out the way, bring that down there, And this is the thing, you know, I think sometimes we get caught up that it has to be absolutely perfect. I'm just trying to figure out which way it sits better on my picture. Yeah, I like that there. there. This little guy I'm going to glue using my Tombow. I'm sitting and then I can't see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to just tuck this little guy behind. Just a little sneak peek. This guy goes in here. Tuck this one just in there, just a hint of succulents. Before I stick this on, I just want to show you. So what I did was I put a bit of dark, I think I used the Just Jade here, dark where there'd be a shadow, and then I just literally coloured it and won the lighter one. So it's, um, and I'm only gluing it on the top bit, but that's going to show. Oops, that's too much glue. I'm going to tuck this under the, the pot. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. I got some new scissors after 20 odd years. I treated myself to new scissors. Feels weird to be cutting with different scissors. Have a look at that. That's looking pretty. Now we're going to do the sentiment and then I'm going to put some bling on. Now this bling is the in colors, in jewels, and they match up with all the new in colors. <laughs> I've already almost used everything but the pinks and the purples because I don't have those papers yet. They're on my shopping list to buy. Um, 
but I'm going to use, I think I've got two of the evergreen ones, I'll pop that one on. Just remember when you are doing your bling blings to create a triangle of them. I thought I had a third one. So there, that's pretty. I'm going to do the sentiment on some scrap. That one says you've been on my mind. I sent these cards out. There were these ones that I make you've been on my mind ones. I sent them out to um, my clients. So I send these cards out to my clients after six months. So in New Zealand you used to have to have your car waft every six months if it was old and then annually if it was a modern car. Um, so I do that with my clients. I send them out a um, I'm going to check that I haven't got ink on there. Cool. So I'm just going to ink this and then we're going to cut it out. I just send them a little, you've been, oh, almost forgot. I've got to get in the habit of doing this on the mat. It really does make a difference. Perfect. A little card saying, hey, you've been on my mind. It's time for your six month health waft check. Um, just a little way of having a point of difference for my clients, letting them know, thinking of them. Don't forget to check up because things change in six months. Just going to run this through the embossing machine and dye machine. So that's all beautifully cut with some stitching around. So now I'm going to just put some mini dimensionals on this. Pop that up. And we are almost, almost at the end of this little card. Now, if you don't have the succulent set and you've enjoyed um, do, having a look at what I'm doing, you are welcome to go on to Stamping Up, the New Zealand one, and find me as a demonstrator, Bernie Root, R O O D T. And I would love it if you chose to shop with me. As I said, I'm reasonably new at doing demonstration. But I have been using the product for over 14 years now, I think. Um, and I run every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. I run a little stamp and eat mini retreat here in Tauranga. And we have some ladies that come, and we've had so much fun. We also enjoy the natter that goes with working together. So feel free to join, and um, yeah. You can leave, I'm actually going to leave this one because it's a lot, it's a different, the, the color of the crumb cake there is a bit stronger to what it is here. If you want to tone this down, you can either use your white, whisper white, um, stamp pad to tone it down but I quite like it that it's I don't know I'll have to see that that hasn't worked out as much as what I wanted it to work out there that one's a lot stronger I just simply used the blends on that one but it's a completely different look as you can tell but they both look pretty so inside I've just got my if I can find it my basic white I'm going to stitch it with the stitched with whimsy dye to give it a pretty little whimsical look that's going to go ah, fingers and thumbs going to go like that I'll be back cool so that's how that looks I am also going to find my stamp that I moved out the way so well now I can't find oh there it is and I'm going to stamp a little, um, the little succulent. What did I do on that one? I used the evergreen. I'm just going to do it on the other side. Stamp it off. Um, the evergreen is actually quite juicy. Ah, I did not 
Ha! I did not use my mat. So, never green. Never mind. Never mind. I have a feeling I might be getting my fingers full of ink again. my fingers because otherwise I'm going to do what I always do and that's have a beautiful project and then I get ink on my fingers as I'm finishing it and then I'll end up having ink on my project. That's no good. So last finishing touches. Beautiful. So we've got the outside. You've been on my mind and don't forget if you have um, why don't you get yourself the stamp set, it's called Make a Difference, and you can put, <laughs> doing it again, right, put it on there, you can put your little logo, handcrafted just for you, and I always like to sign mine up with my Stampin' Eat. There we go. Ta-da! Handcrafted just for you. Stamping up. And if you are selling your cards, you can put your little logo in there. So there we go. All done for you. Featuring the beautiful potted succulent dye. The um, Simply Succulent stamps. 3D embossing folder and the new um, in colors of I always forget it soft succulent and evening evergreen I hope you've liked this card please feel free to subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me I'm still brand new at this so your support is much appreciated have a great Friday everybody and remember until we meet again in a couple of weeks stamp eat sleep repeat bye